a Catholic's view of Chicago starts with the parish in which she or he is is situated, um, and that sort of becomes the window into the city. Often Chicago is known as the city of neighborhoods, and I would say that it's also a city of churches and parishes. Um, it's not uncommon, especially for an older generation, like the generation before my own, that when someone asks you where you're from, they'd often say, oh, I'm from, you know, St. Gabe's or, you know, St. Pat's or, or whatever. You know, they talk about their, their parish. So even if you're not Catholic, people identify even neighborhoods by churches. So like when I was growing up, if you lived around 55th Street uh, and the boulevard there, people would say they lived in Viz, which was Visitation Parish. And they could be Jewish, they could be Protestant, but everybody knew by the parishes, the neighborhoods. So they were really interconnected. I think churches were a community center to those neighborhoods with parish festivals, activities, um, theater groups, things for kids to do, um, hot dog days, all those classic things that you hear about with Chicago neighborhoods. Um, that was a really, it was a very strong presence. When church was over, sometimes we gathered at the, at the, uh, the school hall we have tamales and coffee and, and you know we could talk to other people there uh, you know talk to just about everything you know about family life about how the, the priest's uh, homily went things like that it, it was just great you know we were running around in the hall when, when we were younger those, those kind of great moments it's faith community and it's a big part of like your social life too because most of your friends are Catholic and from the same parish mm -hmm. and live in your neighborhood. August um, 15th is the Feast of the Assumption. So on the week and prior to that, the Sunday we have a big outdoor mass and um, a picnic. So everyone comes with picnic chairs and everything, the mass is on the outside. And then there's this huge picnic and there's a raffle and there's all sorts of food. It's just a beautiful procession. And then we have a high noon mass. And then it's just drinking and eating all night long, <laughs> spending lots of money for the church. And it's just, oh, it's phenomenal. I've worked it. It's hard work. I mean, you work and you're exhausted, but you see everybody that you don't get to see very often. And everyone just has a fantastic day.